Hey, welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again for yet another Retro Shiz look back at the past. Today, a little something different. It's something I've been wanting to kind of look at for a number of years now. I kind of missed it with the last Alien movie that came out, so I figured Alien Romulus is finally here. What better time than to talk about the 1979 Kenner Alien. And I won't go into the whole spiel of, oh man, I can't believe they marketed this to kids. Oh man, I can't believe it didn't sell well. None of that. Today, we're just going to look at the beauty that is this big chap, this 1979 Kenner Alien. And it is one of those figures that I acquired much later. I've had it for a number of years now. The dome, the skull, Everything within the joints, everything on mine, it is definitely loose over these years. It's just become one of those pieces that I love having in my collection. I don't need it to be perfect. I don't need it to have the original poster or the box. It can just exist as it is in its condition through all the love, all the play, everything else that prior someone had enjoyed, but now it exists in my collection. All of the sculpted details. The look of Giger's creature is just amazing. The dome on mine, as I was told by the previous owner, is certainly not the original. It looks to be a reproduction. It's fairly close, but it's definitely not the original, which again, I don't mind at all. When you look at the skull, the brains, the alien brains underneath, as is told in the instruction booklet, it really comes to life in a way that for a kid in this time period must have been absolutely terrifying. The movie itself for that era is absolutely terrifying. But for me, in knowing the movie kind of sort of as a kid, more so aliens, I didn't know that there was a skull underneath the xenomorph's face. I thought that was really cool. So to see that now within the toy and the dome, I always loved that. So that it was just another epic horrific point. Oh, there is a, a human element to this. The spikes on the back, I know a lot of people say, oh yeah, the, the one in the middle is always missing. You have the, the tube spikes down to the tail. But again, just to kind of focus on not only the articulation, which is very limited, but suitable for the time period, but just the look of the alien itself, all oh, the little nuances to the tail, the very cool curly Q tail of which they tell you in the instructions, you can hang this guy from a wire. Not on mine anymore, we'll just say. I don't even like touching this thing half the time because while it's not fragile, it's just something where I go, oh, any day now, you're going to move it wrong, you're going to do something. But just to kind of show you the tale of which I know that you can take these things apart and kind of refurbish them and everything else. But like I said, I like to keep it as is. Everything works, everything's there, but it definitely needs a doll stand, that's for sure. To look at the hands, the creepiness of the hands, that is just awesome. And to kind of describe, if you've never held one of these, never seen one in person, it's a very hollow figure. It's very plasticky, but very unique in its touch. And again, just to kind of move around here, look at the chest plate, look at all the different bone-ish kind of structures to it. The arms are semi, let's say not on a ball, but you get a, a various kind of movement rotation on it. Mine is still able to hold a pose like he's saying hi to his victims before he attacks. So for that, I am very thankful. It's not really the case on the other side with the arm. That one will definitely fall every two seconds. But again, just to kind of show you how everything moves, everything works, I love this thing. And again, I love to see just the idea of toys that existed way back when. Something that kind of, in a way, changed the game as far as, yeah, this is a rated R movie. We're going to give a toy for kids. It didn't do very well. They didn't make any more but for what they made, yeah, sure, that works totally. The legs, I'm going to go easy with the legs, just like I'm saying with the arms, because I know that one of these days I'm going to hit it wrong and it's going to go you know, right off. But yes, very minimal every which way. The skull itself is just utter horrific perfection, and I love it. And yes, it does 
glow in the dark of which in just kind of shutting the lights off initially I haven't really had this thing in any direct sunlight for quite some time. So I was wondering, like, oh, is it still going to work properly? Yada, yada. So I held it up, kind of sat it in the light for a few. And if you can kind of see, it's not really showing up on camera. Well, let's say not that well, but it does still glow. It's very faint, but the glowy is still there. So again, I'm very stoked on that. But to fix the dome. I think that looks right. I even like the yellowness to the dome. I think that kind of gives it more of that vintage feel. And then right under here, you're going to see this little button. And that is what you press to activate the jaw to the mini mouth. And that is just another element to this where I'm just like, that is so cool. So awesome. The jaw kind of flies down. The mouth is two separate pieces. It kind of opens and closes and it's just fun. And that's all it had to be back in the day. Just big old 18 inch Xenomorph alien fun. I didn't need to say it like that, but hey, there you go. The mini poster obviously is just something I printed out from a scan. No, I don't have the original, but it's cool to have this just to kind of pose with the alien itself. So in totality, I love this thing. If you can get yourself one, totally have it for your alien collection again i can't wait to see alien romulus i hope it rocks i hope you've all had a great time if you've seen it already i'll be seeing it next week but until then i'll leave you guys with that i'll talk to you guys soon adios